Um, so just to recap on what the course is. So this digital entrepreneurship program, it's designed to help you develop your understanding and knowledge of digital entrepreneurship. So there are three parts, like we said. There's digital entrepreneurship, which is what we're dealing with now. So we're, we want to really get an understanding of what entrepreneurship is, which means enterprise, which means business and digital aspect. You know, what does digital mean and how do the two come together? So that's what we're, we're stepping into now. Then we're going to talk about digital marketing, but we want to look to develop your skill set and your understanding of how you can conduct digital marketing. And then the third section, the third unit is e-commerce. How do we make how do we make it pay? How do we make the whole thing work? How do we build the mechanics so that actually we can generate income? How do we monetize is the fashionable term? How do we monetize the business? I think I showed you this the last day as well. So the first unit, digital entrepreneurship, you know, what we're really trying to do is to understand that shift from conventional business, conventional consumer mindset to a much different world, which is digitally aware and informed. Okay. So the old world, you know, and there's still elements that are important, but you know, we make a product, we put it in the shelves, somebody comes along and they buy the product. Okay. And of course, we're talking about something different now. We're talking about where you or I have the ability to do some research, to reach out and to buy something from somebody, whether it's a product or a service, without ever having met them, without ever having touched the product, um, without, possibly without even speaking the same languages. Uh, and to do that, uh, you know, to buy something from somebody far away and to make an informed buying decision because I'm able to do research and see what other people have thought about the product or the company or the business or whatever. We also want to understand how you can practically engage with digital, digital entrepreneurship. You know, how we can do this. What are the tools we need to bring to bear? Do we need an accountant? Do we need a bank? Do we need, you know, something else? Well, we can look at all of that. And, you know, the short answer is the easy answer. The answer to almost everything uh, or every question in business to a certain extent starts with it depends. It depends on what we're doing and how we're doing it and who our market is and where our customer is and where our supplier is and what capability we have and what money we have to start the business. Part of this, one of the fundamental ideas is uh, identifying unique selling points. Have you guys heard of unique selling points, USPs? Makes you different to another provider. provider. What makes this person different to another barber or to another hairdresser? What makes this doctor different? So what, what, what's the unique selling point? Uh, and also we want to talk about something which is quite a bit different, which is the minimal touch points. How do we structure the relationship and the business and use digital tools? So we're doing this class. I mean, let's just think of the tools we're using. We're using Zoom, which of course everybody in the world is using right now. And we're using WhatsApp and we're using email, you know? And so in many ways we're utilizing these tools to do something. We're, we're adapting them to a function that previously would have involved me standing in a room in front of you with a chalkboard or a whiteboard uh, and you maybe having a notebook with a pen and all that sort of stuff, okay? So we're, we're adapting things to what we're at. Uh, Jonathan, pro differentiation. Um, well, yes and no. I mean, unique selling points more speaks much more to the idea of what makes the product or the service different Okay, so product differentiation is right. Um, so you're right, it is actually product, product differentiation. But the focus is, why would you buy it? Why would I buy this product? Why would I buy that product? Why do I think I want a Ferrari? Why do I want a Tesla instead of a, a Toyota or a Hyundai? Okay. Why do I want, you know, why do I want to go to... Uh, and I don't, a One Direction concert or a, a K-pop concert, you know, as opposed to going to a classical musical concert. I don't want to go there either, but, you know, so why, why, why do we need to, to, to look at these things?